All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we are gonna make a small bend on this edge, which is gonna be over here, and it's just finishing on the brick. So we don't wanna have a raw edge, we're gonna bend it in a little bit so that it hugs tight. We're gonna do a one inch tab. We mark that one inch. We're gonna cut off the bottom tab here. going to cut off this uh, the top so this is going into the riglet this three-quarter inch return we're going to cut that off and actually at a, sh a sharp angle we need to cut on that angle because we can't grind flush all the way out here with the grinder because of the circular blade so we have to leave we have to cut that on an angle perfect take our folders I'm just gonna just kink it a bit so not, not crazy, steep, some of that. We can bend it a bit more if we have to or unbend it, but that's a good starting point. I'm gonna lay that where I want it. Laying that on the edge of the parapet. And now we're gonna mark our wall right here. So we're gonna make that mark where the wall is. Draw a line just for reference for the video. And then we're gonna slide over an inch for our tab. Another line. So this is gonna be our tab. And we're gonna cut this off and all that's waste on that side. All right, the so same on the top. We're gonna to cut straight across. And then cut on also where the tab mark is. Just to make that next cut easier. We're gonna cut straight up on the outside. So this piece we can cut on an angle. And this bottom piece also a small angle. And then we will cut up on the tab. Okay, we're gonna bend that around 90. So trusty folders. Line them up. Bend. Nice 90 so it hugs. And so you can see that this we're gonna have to make a pencil line. We gotta cut some of this out, so we're gonna pencil line here. Let's put this back in the riglet, and we need to pencil on the top of this parapet. It's gonna be about here. Okay, so our measurement up is gonna be a two and an eighth. We're gonna go two and an eighth on this side. And then we're also gonna go down, uh, just over a half inch. We have our two and eighth. We'll go to one and a half. We we'll draw both those lines. Okay, this is also going to be a tab here. We have fold lines. We can cut the tab. The fold there. And we can cut that part off. We can cut down the bottom of our tab line. It's all a waste. And then we're gonna cut up on this line. Perfect, and we're gonna go up a tiny bit more where that fold is. So we're gonna take our folders. It's much easier if I was left-handed. So this one we're actually gonna bend back out. See why in a second. Okay, so that, that is gonna sit on top of the parapet, this one inch uh, tab coming down. You could technically bend this all the way around and make a safety hem like on the rest, but I like this sitting down so whoever's doing the parapet capping can either uh, tuck underneath that or go over top of it because it's tight and just cock that corner. So it leaves some options for the people doing parapet capping. It's fitting really good. It's nice and tight and the riglet all the way across. You can see where we had to miter the top of this return into the riglet because the saw blade doesn't go all the way down. So that's why there's that tiny gap there. After we will be caulking all of this. Okay, next step. All right, take a couple tap cons in here. So we're gonna do one about a foot in. And we like
like to use uh, 3 16 by one and a quarter. Pretty much as small as you can get with still having a lot of strength. And I'm also running my impact driver on one so that I can hear it ratchet every time and we're not gonna blow through and have to start over. Perfect there. All right, two screws on this side is going to be enough. A little short run. Same, once you hear it ratchet once or twice, you know that screws in. That's it, that's all you need. Held on there tight. Here's the tab that we left kicking forward, and this reaches the end, which is just how we wanted it. So because we're doing this all in one piece, this line, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in this far corner, and we're gonna make sure that that's nice and tight. So what I'm gonna do is take this, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna miter the top return that goes into the riglet, because the blade could not reach all the way down into here. So this is the relief cut. So we just mitered it down on an angle, down to nothing. Also because of our base, we're just gonna take an inch off the bottom, down to nothing at the top. Because with our flashings, it makes a little bit of an angle in that corner. So we have it a little bit on a bevel. You probably can't tell too much, but it's not straight anymore, but it's straight to the wall, which is what we are after. So we'll bring this over the back side. Easiest way to do this. Since we can we can fit it and it's sitting there. I'm just gonna put this on there. Draw a pencil line, that's it. That's all we're gonna cut. Follow that. Perfect. Now this bottom, we, we cut it on an angle. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it down to the length of the other piece. And then I'm just gonna fold it over. Just to close off that bottom corner. So you don't have to do that. It just keeps those sharp edges. If I pull it apart, you can see this one's gonna wrap around that one. And then once we get it in, I'll just tap that with a hammer to keep it closed. Okay, we're gonna put three screws in this side and then we're gonna start caulking. Once again, just a couple clicks with the ratchet. Then we're gonna find center. Same thing down about three inches. Oh yeah, metal done. 